humidification distance. What does it mean? Any steam leaving the steam distribution pipe needs to pass a certain distance until it has been fully absorbed by the air passing through until it is no longer visible as mist. This distance is called the humidification distance Bn and serves as the basis for the calculation of the minimum distances to the components installed downstream. Apart from the humidification distance Bn, an expansion and mixing zone must be provided to ensure hygienic operation and complete absorption of the steam from the air. The example of steam humidification in a high-quality air conditioning system can be used to illustrate that the length of the humidification distance Bn is dependent on the temperature of the inlet air, the relative humidity of the inlet air, and on the humidity increase, i.e. the amount of added humidity. This is because the colder the air, the lower its ability to absorb moisture. Therefore, when the inlet air has a temperature of only 10 degrees Celsius, the visible steam stream and the humidification distance Bn are longer. At higher temperatures, the absorption is more effective and it is possible to achieve a shorter humidification distance. The humidity of the air is also relevant because the higher the humidity of the air, the lower further humidity absorption by the air becomes. Consequently, if the air is very humid, say at 80% relative humidity, a longer humidification distance Bn needs to be provided. Vice versa, at only say 30% relative humidity, a shorter distance is required. The required humidification capacity is also an important parameter. The higher the required humidity increase, the longer the humidification distance Bn becomes, and the lower the required humidity increase is, the shorter the humidification distance Bn becomes. As mentioned at the beginning, apart from the humidification distance Bn with a visible steam stream, a certain expansion and mixing zone must be maintained, in which the humidity can be uniformly distributed into the air. Adequate distance is not maintained, condensation may be produced, with wet spots forming on duct walls, duct branches, on fans or in filters. This means that the hygiene of the system is no longer ensured and moist hot beds can form on which bacteria, germs or mould can thrive. The functioning of the system may also be impaired. A sensor installed in the expansion zone will not measure exact values and then become useless for control purposes. How can the humidification distance be determined? The humidification distance table makes determinating the humidification distance Bn quite simple. If the relative humidity of the inlet air amounts to 10% relative humidity and the required relative humidity of the outlet air is 50% relative humidity, the humidification distance Bn of 1 meter must be maintained. If the available humidification distance is insufficient, the necessary distance can probably be shortened by a more homogeneous steam distribution, effectuated by a multiple steam distribution system. If the relative humidity of the inlet air amounts to 10% relative humidity, and the relative humidity of the outlet air is 50% relative humidity, the necessary humidification distance is now reduced to 26 cm. In this way, the original distance of 1 meter could be reduced to just a quarter of this value. Finally, the expansion zone needs to be determined. Once the humidification distance Bn has been calculated, the expansion zone is determined based on this humidification distance Bn with due consideration of the kind of obstruction used at the end of the humidification distance. If there is an elbow, the simple distance Bn is used. If there is a fine mesh filter, one and a half times the Bn is used. If a humidity sensor is installed, provision should be made for five times the Bn. Assuming that the humidification distance Bn and the expansion zone have been correctly defined, the functioning and hygienic properties of the steam humidification system are assured. As the system concepts installed in practice vary considerably, the values given do not represent all possible solutions. In order to achieve the correct humidification distance, a humidification expert should always be consulted as a matter of principle.